So why would you run a run of chaos day? Apart from that, it's really fun. Business continuity planning, something that many of you would have heard of, especially if you work in a highly regulated industry like finance. I previously worked at the National Australia Bank for six years, and I did a lot of, say, disaster recovery testing to do the BCP work. So business continuity planning is really important, but often it's a little bit um, old school. So you might run your experiments, but you wouldn't have them automated. You wouldn't run them regularly. You might only test your BCP once a year. Chaos engineering is all about doing this frequently, all the time, and actually running the experiments, automating them, and just continuing to run them, and thinking of new experiments that you can run and add. So think about it in relation to BCP, but it's much more advanced. There's a lot of inspiration for, hack day, for chaos days. We have game days, uh, which were actually created by Jesse Robbins at Amazon. So he used to actually go around and pull out the cables in the data center of the machines. Um, yeah, that was like the game days at Amazon in the early days. Now we can do it with software. Capture the flag from security engineering. I also worked as a security engineer at the National Australia Bank for some time. And I like to take a lot of inspiration from that, too. And this is where you hide vulnerabilities and issues, and then you have to send your team out, your company out, to try and spot them, um, or even people out in the public. And then also hack days and hack weeks. And these were created by Yahoo many, many years ago. Um, and yeah, it is more focused on product development, feature development. So I love the idea of chaos days to focus on resilience. Why would you want to do it? You know, there's been so many outages recently that have made the press and that we've been all talking about. There was that big S3 outage. There was also, you know, Slack's gone down quite a lot recently. Um, that's constantly in the news. A lot of airline outages as well, like, for example, this Delta one. And I myself actually was able to achieve a 10x reduction in incidents for the databases team at Dropbox because of doing chaos engineering experiments. And how did I do that? I actually started at Dropbox, and I set a goal to reduce it, not by 10x. That was pretty impressive. I actually set a goal to reduce it by 20%, uh, but managed to get a 10x reduction in three months. And yeah, all I needed to do there was look at the top issues and actually run experiments for the critical systems, the critical components, for which, which we had to look after on the databases team. So don't go for low-hanging fruit. Go for the big wins, and you can really achieve them.